This is the world's first 480Hz OLED gaming monitor made by ASUS. And in this video, we are going to break down every single brand new product that they are releasing, including monitors, laptops, peripherals, and so much more. Right, so, we've got to meet with ASUS now. This hotel's pretty stylish, but I feel like I should have came in a suit and we've got an underdress. Only, only 10 minutes late. <laughs> stylish. That's it, that's what we wanted. So first, before we actually get onto some of the cool gaming stuff that we've got, let's just briefly go over some of the more studenty laptops or productivity laptops as well for like professionals. They've got some beautiful Zenbooks. Now all the Zenbooks, some of the cheaper laptops, all have OLED displays in them now. Some of them are OLED 60, some are actually OLED 120 hertz as well. So for even if a student getting this the student laptop this year, incredible picture quality, you're gonna make it great for making presentations on there, all that type of stuff at a super price point. We've also got the new Zenbook Duo. This has got some changes from last year to try and make the price a bit cheaper. So obviously last year you had the foldable screen type thing. Now they've removed that and just made it two separate displays that folds like a hinge mechanism instead of the display folding. This works pretty well. It also has a super nice wireless keyboard that like basically magnetizes on when you're transporting it around. This would be pretty good for like business professionals, people that need like a spreadsheet up as well as their emails for like working on a train because the stand is pretty sturdy, how you just kick the stand out, and you can just throw that on a little table on the train or wherever you're going and just bang out some work. Right, so these also right here are the brand new Asus OLEDs that we've got. Honestly, I love OLED technology. Asus TV, like a gaming TV, like them LG ones. But obviously, this is stunning. It's about 34 inch, I think it is. A 39 inch, actually, 39 inch ultra wide curve OLED technology. Absolutely insane. 1,300 nits too, so the brightness performance should be pretty solid. And it looks like it's got a nice anti-glare sort of thing on it too, so you won't get bad glare with like that glossy OLED panel that you usually get. But these next ones are way cooler. So on these other ones that we've got here, this is a 480 hertz OLED gaming monitor. Obviously, most commonly we get like 120 hertz for an OLED monitor. And to make this even cooler, this right here is actually a 1440p OLED display. So you're getting 480 hertz or 440p at OLED. This is like groundbreaking stuff right here. So I'm 100% going to check one of these out on my own gaming setup. And then this one right here has got some really cool technology in terms of it's like dual resolution where you can run it as a 4K panel at 240 hertz, so double what you're conventionally used to with your HDMI 2.1. Or you can drop it down to full HD, 1080p resolution, and run it at 480 hertz. So this is that great balance if you want like a panel that's super cool for you know, single player games, like playing in 4K, beautiful graphics, and then you want to go into your esports hardcore games like Apex Legends, CSGO, those types of titles, you can drop down the resolution and you can run the telly in a few different ways, either with black bars or fully native where it will combine four pixels to make one. So depending on how you sort of uh, want to run that. Right, so this OLED range is absolutely exceptional. Super duper impressed with it. Like all the panels just feel great. Awesome response time on all of them. And also I think the spec of the panels is what's impressive too. These right here are the brand new Asus Zephyrus uh, G14 and also G16. These, is, uh, these laptops would actually make me switch from my MacBook. Now the main reason I usually go for an Apple thing is I'm not really bothered about gaming too much on the go, but predominantly they uh, like screen quality and also the performance when it comes to the portability for video editing and productivity side tasks. Now these laptops are probably some of the best Windows laptops on the market in terms of aesthetics. So look at how thin this is. Absolutely stunning in terms of its overall design. But then also the display is an OLED 120 hertz screen with also a 0.2 millisecond response time, which makes it great for obviously gaming, but also superb for productivity because it has that OLED technology that makes you know, the infinite black, perfect black levels, you know, the contrast, the saturation, so great for color grading, editing photographs, even watching movies on it. It's the best panel, like OLED's my favorite by far. Another problem that I often have with laptops, especially Windows laptops in particular, like I used to have a razor blade, use it for about three, four months, in the bin, literally awful stuff. But the trackpad's always a weak point when it comes to Windows laptops. Now this trackpad here resolves those issues because of the, sh the shape of the trackpad is uh, 16 by 10. So it actually represents the aspect ratio of the display. Whereas tr traditionally with like a, a gaming laptop or a Windows laptop, the trackpad's like a weird little rectangle or, or whatever. And it doesn't really align with the shape of the screen. So this means that the mouse tracks much more accurately around the display because of that aspect ratio matching the aspect ratio of the trackpad. The trackpad feels absolutely superb. I've had my hands on these laptops prior to coming here and really like it. So obviously this comes in two different sizes. You've got the 14 inch and also the 16 inch. 
Now, I'm more of a 14 inch sort of laptop guy in terms of the portability. Now, their current laptops are M1 Pro MacBook, and I think that's like a 14 inch. But the 16 inches aren't too big. I thought that, because again, because they're so thin, definitely usable. Now, there are some major advantages to getting the 16 inch versions of these laptops, predominantly from a performance perspective. Now, you can literally get an RTX 4090, and I believe it's a desktop GPU version of that within the 16 inch. Obviously, I'd need to test that version over a period of time when it comes to obviously like the battery life performance of such a hefty graphics card. But that's what I run in my main desktop PC. Mega, like both in terms of its power draw and obviously its performance. That's now in one of these laptops, it's as thin as that for the 16 inch variation, which is kind of crazy. But the main thing when it comes to the 16 inch version of this laptop, now this is the only reason why I might not potentially switch from my MacBook I currently have. So if you're a video editor, so obviously these are gaming laptops, but also aimed at people that can do creativity. So a bit of a hybrid, I think that's quite common now. A lot of people want that performance split. But on the 16 inch, you get a full size uh, my, uh, SD card, so obviously if you're filming your videos, you can throw the, the th full size SD card in here, transfer the footage much easier. Whereas on the 14 inch version, that comes with a micro SD card port, which is a bit awkward because no one shoots that. Unless you're filming stuff on a GoPro or like an Insta360 camera, that's not really the SD card port you're using. But one thing that you don't lose out on in regards to the ports, you do still get a full size HDMI port on both the 16 inch and 14 inch. So you don't get like a weird micro HDMI port, like you get the weird micro SD card slot on the smaller laptop. That's great because obviously it's HDMI 2.1. So that means you can connect these laptops to your desk setup at home to another 4K 120 hz display. This is a brand new product for CES 2024. This is the ZenBook Fold screen. Now you would first assume that it's actually the laptop because it, it does look kind of similar. But I'll tell you the price about this thing in a minute because it will shock you. But fundamentally the technology is incredibly impressive. So this is a foldable display that's portable, but it has no internal battery. It all runs directly off of your laptop via the USB Type-C port. So that obviously results in it being much lighter weight because there's no internal battery, making it bulky. So it's basically like carrying like a notebook around in your, in your actual bag you know, when it folds up. But you can get this out when you're traveling uh, or in your hotel room, just give yourself a little bit more space when it comes to the productivity. How do you get the stand out, Can I put this? Yeah, can you? Yeah, oh, I'll show the award off. Yeah. How do you uh, open that again? Here, there's a, here. Hey, right. Sorry. Oh, I thought it was a button. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Now, like all of the ASUS stuff at the moment, like the laptops, pretty much everything they're releasing, the new monitors as well, does have OLED inside of it. I'm absolutely a huge fan of OLED. It's like my favorite panel technology. You know, the saturations, the, the black levels, absolutely insane. And this is a 500 nit display, so it's pretty decent brightness wise. And also the crease isn't too noticeable. It's pretty subtle inside of here. And even when you have it fully flat, almost like a huge tablet, you can't see the crease at all, which is pretty nice. But what isn't nice is the price. Uh, this is $2,000 for, for this display alone. Bear in mind the laptop is around $3,000. So you, you know, get a whole PC for a thousand pound more. But I think because it's first gen tech, obviously over time it might get a little bit cheaper. Overall, I think the ASUS booth was pretty impressive. There's some amazing products releasing later this year. I'm very excited about the laptops. Let me know your thoughts in the chat down below and like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And for more coverage of CES 2024, you should check out this video next.